Suddenly, a light in the distance against a gray sky, growing bigger, growing brighter and closer. The air began to broil. And a rumbling sound like 10,000 thunder shattered the sky. And an enormous fireball hurled itself across the sky toward Takashi. <gasps> the white bird took to the sky once more, but it was too late. Before Takashi could reach for the bird's legs, the bird was swallowed by the fire. No! Takashi collapsed on the ground, weeping. An atom bomb survivor and the guest speaker for the evening rally. And tonight would be no different as he pounded the podium. Shouted the atrocities. And accused the U.S. government of mass murder. Peace? Huh. Americans making peace in the world? Huh. They don't even know how much evil they create. No, Americans will never understand real peace until they have suffered like I have suffered. Takashi's, and he began to drift back, back in time. Cho 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 cho, na no hani tomare, na no hani aitara, sakura ni tomare, hana kara hana e, asobe yo tomare yo, asobe yo tomare, asobe yo tomare. Mama was never found, nor baby sister, no obachan grandma. Chia-chan, Grandpa. Onea-san, old as kind as sister, was next to die. And then... Otocha Would be dead by winter. In that cold, gray winter. Never, Never again, again would one single blade of grass grow in... Hiroshima. Hiroshima. He sat in his car, parked on an island in the middle of the bay. Jowls and her philosophy, and her mantra was, tough, that's me, because I'm tough. <sighs> well, all my friends began to meet her, and always it would be, your mom is so interesting, she's fascinating, she, she's amazing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> what are they talking about? <laughs> Who are they talking about? <laughs> well, this is the thing. Mothers, what do you know about your own mother? So, I had now lived with her for five years downstairs, and for five years, she would come out her front door, open up our front door, stand at the bottom of the stairs, and shout, Nancy! <laughs> and I'd jump up from whatever I was doing, run to the top of the stairs, yeah, Mom, what do you need? What do you want? And never, those five years, did she say those two precious words that were taught when we were like two years old, which is, thank, thank you. you. Yeah. One time I dared to suggest it. Why should I thank you? Isn't that what daughters are supposed to do for their their mothers? Well, yeah, but you could also think, oh, shish it, shish it, thank you. Now you're satisfied. having all these different puzzle pieces with no picture. And I had to examine each of those puzzle pieces to see how they fit together. So, puzzle piece number one. 1850, 160 years ago, 
my great-great-grandmother, Somei, and my great-great-grandfather, Kwok Bo. Like everyone else in China, had heard about the good news of the gold rush in California. But they had also heard about the unprovoked anti-Chinese violence in California. But in China, there was a plague, there was uh, typhoid fever, there were droughts, there were famines, there, were, um, there was civil unrest, there was even floods. So they had nothing to lose to come to, China, to uh, California to leave China. So my great-great-grandparents, who were married and just teenagers at the time, along with four other teenagers, sailed in a 30-foot chunks, a Chinese junk boat, uh, across the Pacific from the Delta River region in Canton, China, all the way across. There were their families gathered to say goodbye, bringing them family charms, uh, wishing them well, uh, a red altar with incense, because who knew when they, or if they would ever see them again. This was a journey into an unknown, and it would take four months, five at the most, if they were lucky. And they were lucky until they reached the coast, the foggy coast of California. And there they were caught in a storm. I can imagine their terror as the winds tore at their sails and the waves thrashed their boat about and the tide rushed them to shore. of the city. Little Dolores there was so excited to be there. And Mama Tassio and Ori said about cooking all the stew and the, and the garlic smells and the vinegar and that spicy adobo stew filling that little apartment up. And Dolores, Dolores waited for that food to be rich. She went to the window, looked out in the night sky. But a fog had rolled in. No stars. I know you're out there. Star Visit me in my dreams. Can I give me some wings? Give me some wings. I'm gonna have some wings so I can fly over the Philippines and fly to America and back again. Fly. 